Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the EST Electrical Services Stadium at the Lamb for this final of the National League North fixture between Tamworth and Brackley Town. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to players, supporters and officials of Brackley and we hope that they have a very safe journey home at the end of today's game. Also I'd like to welcome today's match day sponsor who is Andrew Turland. There will be a minute applause following the uh, death of the uh, Cyril Regis. 614 league games for West Bromwich Albion, Coventry, Villa, Wills and Wickham and scored 158 goals as well as playing five times for England. So please, could we have a minute's applause in remembrance of Cyril Regis which will start and finish on the referee's whistle. And there's kickoff here for the game between Tamworth v Brackley Town. Brackley in the all yellow, Tamworth in the all red. Brackley immediately tried to come on the attack. The first clip's made by Luke Jones and uh, Dan Turner making his home debut for the Lambs, signed on a one month loan from Port Vale as the number 10, Aaron Williams, has a first crack at goal. And Jack Stevens making his debut also for Tamworth makes his first save. He's up against Walker. Walker makes a good tackle. And now Unlevu can bring it forward for Brackley on the counter attack. It's a good ball. Brackley now, 2 on 1. It's into Williams on this right hand side. Back inside for Armson. Leaves it for Unlevu. Unlevu, good save by Stevens. Still in. It's laid back for Armson who shoots. Morley kicks it onto the bar. Callum Powell now clears it. That was a scare for Tamworth there. Good block on the line, I think it might have been from Morley. First initial save was by Stevens. Yeah, it certainly was a fantastic opportunity for Brackley to take the lead. But it was, like you say, a good save by Jack Stevens and then excellent defending on the line there by uh, Stephen Morley. I think he's going to go direct and go for the shot here. Yeah, the Luke Jones, Kettle, Verma have all gone into the box. But as you said, it looks like he will shoot, but it's straight into the wall. Morley now picks up the rebound. He has a crack. But that, that was a good effort from Morley, but it was unfortunately straight down the throat of the uh, Brackley keeper. It was, yeah. It was very similar to the, the free kick from Brackley earlier. It was straight at the, at the keeper and uh, didn't really trouble him. Um, Danny Lewis there. And Man Verma into Burns. Can't work with a bit of time. Turner. Ball through to Connor Taylor's onside. The shot safe. Callum Powell taps in the rebound. That is 1 0 to Tamworth. Callum Powell with it. So Connor Taylor with the initial shot, but Callum Powell follows up and taps home. It was, it was a superb reaction there by Callum Powell to fire the, uh, the rebound home and puts Tamworth into the lead. That was actually the first meaningful shot of the game from Tamworth was Taylor's and it uh, results in Tamworth scoring. Walker now, and Laveau out on this left hand side for Brackley. Comes into Walker. It's a good ball through from Byrne. Miles is in, squares it, and it's a goal. It's 1 1. No, it's offside. It's been deemed offside. So Tamworth have a lifeline. It's what it still remains. 1 0 Tamworth. The number two, Ellis Miles, was deemed offside after the ball through from Byrne. As much as the Tamworth players dispute, the decision stands. Sorry, Brackley players dispute, the decision stands, and it is still 1 0 Tamworth. Yeah, I was about to say before that attack came around that the last thing Tamworth need to do is concede a goal um, before half time. And thankfully, the uh, linesman went in our favour this time. And so, 
Tamworth now cheats, as you, as you said, need just to defend this, not concede, and go into the break with a 1-0 lead. Looks like Byrne will take this. Dean, Calder have all joined, gone into the box, the ball goes in. Verma himself actually wins it, but Calder, Taylor now should clear and will. And that is it, half time here at the EST Electrical Services Stadium. The score, 1-0 to Tamworth, and we'll be back with you for the second half. Welcome back to the EST Electrical Services Stadium here at the LAM for the second half between Tamworth and Brackley Town. We have now uh, changed teams and Nick will be alongside me. Good afternoon guys, yes I'm Nick from the Herald, I'll be doing the uh, commentary alongside Jake this afternoon. Uh, it says my first time doing it so it uh, should be a bit of a mishmash but I'm sure it'll be a bit of fun anyway so uh, great stuff. Yeah and straight away actually we have Tam looking to get on the attack but it's comfortable for Danny Lewis so Nick what are your views on that first half of Tamworth? Yeah it's been a really good first half, we've had some really good passages of play, uh, we've just got to keep it going now really, I mean Brackley have been quite strong going forward, we've just got to make sure we get get hold of their tired legs and uh, try and keep forcing it through really because uh, we've had a really good spell so far and hopefully we can uh, capitalise on our goal that we've already got to make it 2 or 3 now in this game. Yeah as you said Brackley did probably start off the stronger out of the two and then we Tamworth really came into that in that setting towards the should you say second half of the second half of the first half. The back line trying to uh, get something out of nothing really. Miles has done well here. He's, going, he's gone past two or three time players before bundled over softly by Verma, but the ref deems it to be a free kick. As I think it's Walker and Burn over this very central free kick for Brackley. As I think it looks like it could be Burn who's about to take this. He is, yeah, Burn's going to run up, hit it. But just like the first half, it's straight at Jack Stevens. That's right, very, very comfortable there for Jack. He's uh, got his hands around that and it's gone straight, in, straight to him there. Yeah, it's nice to see this pressure from Tamworth now, putting them on the back foot. These tired legs after their uh, exploits in the uh, cup at the, in the week, Brackley are going to have some very tired, uh, tired players out there and Tamworth have got to exploit that and make sure they uh, spread the play out wide and get that ball in the box. Yeah, obviously Brackley beat Barrow in the FA Trophy replay during the week. So, as the ball comes forward for Walker, but Burns should deal with this and we'll find Connor Taylor, who's got quite a bit of room out on this right-hand side. Taylor now to Cotwicker. It's uh, sure Morley with plenty of time as well out on his left-hand side. The Paulus, as we've already mentioned, had a very good game so far. And that's not a bad ball in. It's in, and somehow Cotwicker couldn't quite get a toe on that. That looked destined to be a goal. Yeah, great play from Tamworth there. Really good build-up play between Andy Burns and uh, Cotwicker there. Putting the ball across. And it was inches away from making the second one for Tamworth there. Yeah, Cotwicker helped start the move and very nearly finished that off. It's going to be a free kick for Tamworth now in a very dangerous position. And we've got no. Connor Taylor standing over that now and, and Knight. Yeah, Knight's Darryl scored Knight. one or two free kicks this season. Which from actually this kind of position it is very central. So we'll have to be it, they will have to have a bit of bend on this to get this in with it being very central. It's not really to either side. Oh Knight stands over this now as the wall of yellow. He kicks it over the oh, oh it's saved by the keeper. Danny Lewis comes to the rescue of Brackley Town there to keep them in the game. It's, yeah, it's just a shame. If that had a little bit more power on it, that might have found its way into that top corner. You think so with the way things are at the moment? Yeah, it looks like it. Connor Franklin is coming off for Andy number 12. Brown. Andy Brown. for Brackley Town in the 83rd, bringing in place number 3, Connor Franklin, to number 12, Andy Brown. You can see the intensity of their play now as they're running off the pitch in a bid to uh, waste no time at all in this substitution. Andy Brown. Andy Brown makes his way into the box as Brackley are preparing to take this corner ball. Yeah, so it's Burns out there to take it. That goes into Brown. It's a bit of Oh, it's fumbled. I don't know where it is. It's blocked. Oh, I don't know it's saved by Stevens there. Again. Saved again by oh. It's in. It's gone in. Brackley have scored. I, I think it's number eight. Armson runs away as a few times players are down in the box. Connor Taylor's having a bit of a... I'm not sure what's gone on there. So there's been a bit of a... Oh, 
it's not going to quite find the time of play at. Verma will bring it down. Out to Callum Powell. We've just been talking about how well he's played. Can he do another piece of magic? Gets to the byline. Chips it back in. It's it's off the post. The header from Luke Jones has been saved onto the post. I don't think the I don't think the Bracken keeper knew anything about that. And it's come off the post. Armson puts one in. Stevens punches, no chance is taken, but it's going to fall for Walker. Puts it back in, headed out by Burns. And it's just absolutely smashed away by Kettle. And that is it, full time at the EST Electrical Services Stadium here at the LAN. Tamworth 1, Brackley 1, and we will see you next time for this game against Spennymoor Town away from home.